Okay, that's good enough. All right, let's just get straight into it then. For those of you who are already in here, welcome back. If you guys have any suggestions, do me a favor and uh, type them in the comments box. Okay, we'll start off from, it's been, been a little bit since I last did this. Um, it's been over a week. Well, not over a week, but it's been a week now. So normally how we look for leads, we'll normally go through like typing in Amazon bestsellers on, I'll show you guys how we do that. Amazon bestsellers on Google. And then just pick a category from there. Hey, I read people for fun. Welcome. You deserve way more followers, she said. I dropped you a follow. I appreciate a follow back if you can. I'd love to read me sometimes. <laughs> oh, so yeah, I've got it. I've got this connected to both Twitch and um, to YouTube. Thanks for uh, thanks for following. I'll give you a follow after this. All right, where are we at? Amazon bestsellers. So we'll click on this first non-advertisement link. And then from here, you can pick a category. Then you can start from there. But we're not going to do that this time. We're going to go. I'm going to use one of these ASINs that we were using last week. So we'll go from there. So I'm going to copy this. Oh, what was that? from here <clears throat> we'll just look into different sellers or look for a different keyword that we can use so this is the last product we looked at let's open up the other uh, sellers for this let's take a look at his products or their products sorry We'll try that one. That one has over 3,500 reviews. So they've been selling for a while. And maybe this one. Okay. Let's start with uh, this guy. This um, store storefront. Okay, right now we're looking at what they're selling, right? And then based on... So I've got a couple of um, Chrome extensions that I use to look for this. And these are the Chrome extensions. I'll have a, a link for all these in the uh, video description when I upload this. But what we're looking for is we're looking for products that Amazon's not selling. So based on the ex extensions that this shows up, uh, if it's sold by Amazon, we just skip. If there's only one FBA seller, we'll skip because usually that's that means it's a private label product. But sometimes, sometimes if I see multiple sellers, then that means that the brand owner allows multiple sellers. So I'll actually look into the brand itself. So in this case, let's look into Brita. We'll look into the brand and look for um, ASINs that have multiple sellers, but Amazon doesn't sell. So right now we opened up a new window. We're searching by brand name. We're scrolling down looking for any listings that have multiple sellers, but not sold by Amazon. And normally if it's a huge brand name like this, um, yeah, they usually sell it themselves or, or, um, it's too competitive and they've, they've already have mega sellers already selling these products. Let's take a look at 
See, this one has multiple settlers, right? Let's take a look at this. It's already sold by Amazon. Yeah. Well, here's one. Seven sellers, not put, not sold by Amazon. Let's take a look at this. Maybe Amazon just ran out. So to determine that, we'll look at the this one Chrome extension, which is Keepa. We'll look at the history. So as you scroll back. Uh, this is the timeline we have right now, three months. Let's go back. Oh, no, three months for now. We're Because right now, Amazon doesn't sell this product, right? It's being FBA'd by this uh, seller. So we can look at the Keepa graph, scroll back, and see if Amazon has been selling this, which they were. Right between these times, Amazon's been selling here. See that top uh, orange-looking... Uh, box so if you scroll back you can see amazon's been selling this see they're still selling it even here and little gaps here and there so amazon does sell on this listing and they do run out and from last year they weren't selling this. Then they started to trickle in and they were a little more consistent during this time. I think they're just out of stock and they're just restocking at the moment. So because Amazon sells this, I'm gonna pass on this. I'm actually gonna pass on this whole brand so let's so again we're backed out looking at this seller's storefront looking at all the products that he's selling so let's scroll down here this is another item that's sold by Amazon five FBA sellers we're gonna skip that this one's got a really good BSR or bestseller rank, but it's sold by Amazon with multiple sellers. Uh, we'll skip that. Okay, here's one. It's got multiple sellers. It's got a really good bestseller rank. Let's take a closer look into this. Mole Killer. So this is shipped and sold by. So this is FBM right now. Can you FBA this? Oh, you know what? We're still looking at the uh, the seller's listing. So we'll just type this into the uh, type the ESIN into our internet browser. Then it should pull up a listing with all the uh, FBA sellers. See, it is sold, shipped and sold by Amazon. So Amazon does sell this. And looking at the Keepa history, it looks like Amazon sells it consistently. So I'm going to... Actually, let's take a look at the, uh, the brand name. See if there's any products that have multiple sellers that's not sold by Amazon. See, it's also by Amazon. So we're gonna skip this too. Okay, we're back in this seller's listing. Scrolling down. See, toys are gonna start booming here shortly. I mean, it's already Q4. Everybody, um, all the BSRs for toys are starting to go up. So you're going to start seeing more competitive sellers in, in this category. Impact Sprinkler Tripod. 
Let's take a look at this. Orbit store. Yeah, as far as bestseller ranks go, I, I like to look for fast moving products. So anything below 20,000 is is worth it to me, but this one's slightly higher. 15,000, but it's sold by Amazon. This one's good. Oh, but it's sold by Amazon again. It's ranked 3,000 in patio, but it's got five FBA sellers. Yeah, so this brand we're looking into right now, it's got a lot of sold by Amazon. So this is kind of hard. So I'm going to close this, but we did open up another brand with multiple sellers. Oh, it's the same brand, Orbit Store. Never mind. So we're going to close this out. All right, we'll move on. Roundup. I know that's a pretty big brand name, so I'm going to skip that. Plus, it's sold by Amazon. Blue Lizard, Sunscreen, and so by Amazon though. Oh cool. Oh, but it's Marvel. Mm. Yeah, I'd rather stay away from brands that I've heard of before. Gazillion Bubbles, 2 liter solution. Well, nobody else is... This is probably an, a... um. What do you call private label item? We're still looking at the uh, seller's listing. So let's copy the ASIN, type it in the uh, search bar. Then it should pull up the actual listing. One competitive seller. This is FBM, FBM, FBM. There's a lot of FBMs here. I'm trying to figure out why it's FBM and there's no FBA. Is it a restricted item? Is it just selling so fast that FBA just sells out? Let's look at the uh, history, see if... Buy box. Oh, this only shows buy box. FBA, let's look at this. Fifteen ninety nine. New third party FBA. I think they just sell out. But FBA price is about fifteen ninety seven. Right now the price is fifteen ninety nine. You know what? Let's add this to the list. Unless we already have it. Oh, we already have it. Gazillion. Never mind. Okay, looks like we already added this item or this brand name to contact. Okay, if you guys are just tuning in, uh, we are looking for wholesale leads this morning or afternoon, wherever you guys are at. We're doing what's called reverse sourcing. So we're looking for fast moving products, getting the brand name, and then reaching out and uh, opening a wholesale account with them. So Intex, I know this is a 
popular brand. Let's take a look at see if they're all sold by Amazon. Make sure I don't already have this. Nope. So we're searching by brand name right now, looking for fast moving products that's not sold by Amazon. See, this one's good. 13,000, five FBA sellers. Let's take a look at this. Yeah, this looks good. So we'll uh, add this ASIN to our list here. The brand name, the price, seventy-five fifty-five. Total sales per month. Eh, it's not great. Thirteen thousand six fifty per month. How many competitive FBA sellers? We have four, so we're five. So we can expect to sell 130 of these in a month. But I'm assuming this is a summer product. Yeah, see. So up until September, let's look, let's look at the graph for an entire year. So during these months, the sales velocity is very low. I mean, very high. BSR is really low. Then it goes up during June, July, then it comes back down. September goes back up. And it should be coming back down. Wait a second. This goes to October. And this is March. Why are we missing? Oh, there it is. Okay, October. Okay, it does slow down a little bit. November. Okay, yeah, so it does come down right before like the summertime, right? Then it slows down during summer. But it should be good. Let's uh, look into this. Let's add this to the list anyways. Okay, what else we got? So we got Intex already. We're gonna move on. We're back in this uh, seller's listings. Rapid ramen cooker, cool. Price is kind of low though, but let's take a look at it. Copy the ASIN, type it in the uh, search bar. So right now, FBA price is nine ninety four actually. Can you still profit from this? Let's see. Product cost. Let's see. We're getting it for two fifty. I don't know. Twenty five cents to ship. Nine ninety four. Profit per unit is two eighteen. So can you get it for four bucks a piece? Can you still profit? You can still profit about. Oh, I'm sorry. Looks like I'm blocking this. Hold on. It's a bad placement of my my camera here. Okay. So if you guys can see this. Profit per unit is 0.68 if we can get it for four bucks a piece. Net margin, well, profit per unit, 68. ROI is 15%. Uh, 
yeah, I mean, if we can get it for four bucks a piece, well, normally for ROI, I don't like to do anything less than 30%. So if we can get it for 350, then that's something that we can consider. So yeah, so we can get it for 350, it's it'll be worth it. All right. Yeah, so looks like we can still profit for anything under $15, so we can start looking for those. All right. Let's start adding this. What's the sales velocity on this? 4500. Neeson is rapid brands. Competitive sellers, we have fourteen, no, ten, so we're eleven. Four oh nine, and let's say we did. Let's say we can get it for three fifty a piece. We can make one dollar and eighteen cents per unit. So what is that? One dollar one eighteen times however however many units this is. So it's four oh nine. So you can make a profit of four eighty two per month of actual profit. If you can get this item for 350 a piece. Anything above that, then your ROI starts dipping down and you can make the call. All right, let's move on. $28, that's a good price, but it's Disney. I normally stay away from uh, real popular brands, plus it's sold by Amazon. Really good BSR. This is good. It's got a really good BSR, multiple Amazon sellers. So let's take a look at this. Owlies. Again, we're looking at the seller's listing, so we want to take the ASIN, paste it into the uh, search, internet search browser, so we can pull up the actual listing. Twenty three ninety five. Wow, competitive FBA sellers fifty. So Amazon does sell this. There's a few few gaps in here where Amazon does sell it and run out. Actually, Amazon's selling it right now. So these guys are actually beating Amazon. Because this is FBA. They're selling it for $23.95. Amazon's selling it for $28.99. Are they profiting from it? I don't know. Owlies. <clears throat> Let's actually take a look at the brand itself. See if uh, they have more listings that Amazon doesn't sell. Yeah, look at that. It's pretty, pretty hot toy right now. I don't even know what this is. Yeah, we can add it to the list. But I doubt it because Amazon's already selling it and they're selling it for 29. I don't even know if these guys are profiting from it unless they're mega sellers. No, not even mega sellers. 19. Yeah, it's worth it. We'll, we'll contact them. Brand is all these. FBA price is twenty three ninety nine. Total sales per month 
1209. Competitive sellers, we have 50, so we're 51. You can sell a grand total of 23 units. All right, moving on. We already got all these. Duck. Well, I know this is a huge brand name, so I'm going to skip that. Leapfrog is another big one. Roundup is a big one. Bio Advance. Now I'm going to skip this. Amazon selling it. Actually, let's take a look at this. We'll search by brand name again. Bio Advance. Advanced with a D. We're looking for listings with multiple sellers and not sold by Amazon. Here's a two pack. Three FBA sellers. The problem is the BSR is a little too high. Let's see what the sales velocity is for this. Oops, wrong. Wrong Chrome extension. Let's go to Jungle Scout. 130. Yeah, it's not enough. 130 between how many competitive sellers? Where's my Chrome extension here? Let's just say four. Still not enough. 32 units. Okay, we're gonna skip this one. Okay, I don't see anything else with multiple sellers. That's not so by Amazon. Backed out to um, this seller's listings. Here's one, multiple sellers, and not sold by Amazon, but the price is 853. But we know that multiple sellers sell it, so it's worth a shot to look at the brand name. Here's a good one. Oh, it's good, good um, BSR, but the price again is eight thirty one. Let's just open up the listing and see if it is profitable. What are we looking at? We're going to open up the um, Chrome extension to calculate if this is going to be profitable or not. Shipping costs 25 cents. What's the price now? 831. Uh, let's see, you can get each one for a dollar a piece, so two dollars. This is still profitable. We're at 57%, so we can still source it for a little higher than this let's say 250. nope 
I'll just read it off to you guys. <clears throat> so right now, if we can get both of these at a combined price of 250, we can still get an ROI of 29%. And so be able to sell it for 831. So Okay, knowing that profit per unit 79 cents. How many can we sell? 1597 units. I'm just going to I'm just going to mark this down. 1597 units. Competitive sellers, we have 4 399. So you take 399 and multiply it by whatever your Profit per unit is so 0.79, right? 0 0.79, 0 0.79 times about 400 units. That's an extra 316 actual profit, net profit per month, right? So it's worth it. We'll keep that on the list. All right, we'll keep this on the list. Actually, we forgot to um, add the ASIN on here. So from here, let's copy the ASIN. Brew, right? This is brand name. FBA price is A31. All right. You guys are just tuning in go ahead and comment um, whatever your questions are so today we're looking for wholesale leads on Amazon wholesale leads where we can find out a manufacturer's name and contact information contact them open wholesale accounts and purchase inventory at wholesale prices Okay, so right now what you're looking at, this is a seller's, another seller's storefront. I'm just going through their listings to see if there's any listings with um, multiple sellers and not sold by Amazon. So here's another one. I'm going to take the ASIN and repaste it so we can look at the actual listing. This one is a FBM item. Buy box, buy Amazon. See, Amazon does sell this, but not consistently. Rescue store. So maybe this listing might not be profitable or Amazon sells it, but we can search by brand name. Maybe we can find other listings that Amazon doesn't sell. Okay, that doesn't help. So trapstick, wasp, bees, rescue, bees. See, this is a good one. It's a two pack. It's not sold by Amazon. It's got four FBA sellers. So I mean, any one of these should be good, actually. This one has a, you know what, they're both good. So we can just pick one BSR and move on. I'm gonna take this. There's a BSR. Hey. 
Welcome in guys, if you guys are just tuning in, we're looking for wholesale leads. Before you leave, do me a favor, hit the like button and subscribe if you already haven't. Okay, the company name is Rescue. FBA price is 2010, total sales, we've got, this one should be good. It's got a rank of 4,000, right? So 859. 59 between how many competitive sellers two three so worth the three so assuming we can make 30% off of this um, product what kind of profit are we looking at so this thing is $20 let's say we can source it for six dollars a piece where are we at right now ROI is 113 it's a little too much. Let's go 10. Okay, ROI is 30. So if we can get if we can source these for $10 a piece, send it into Amazon for a quarter. We're looking at a net and we can get a return on investment of 29, 29.30. Profit per unit is about three dollars. So you take three dollars times However many units you can expect to sell per month, so 286. So you're looking at a net profit of 858 per month from this one listing. Hey Saul, welcome back. Do we need to have a website to start getting wholesale distributors? Yes, you either need a a niche specific website or a value proposition website yes i don't think i was ever able to open a wholesale account with a brand name without one of those all right so moving on what we can actually do is we can use this, a keyword in here and look for different brands, right? So we can do, what is this? Trap stick. Let's try that. Trap stick. Here's one, Catchmaster. Two FBA sellers, really good BSR. Okay. Yeah. Let's look at the history, see if Amazon sells it. No, Amazon does not sell this. Do they sell it themselves? So Catchmaster store. Fresh Colony, yeah. I don't see them selling their own product, so we're gonna add this to the list. Oh, this popped up. I'm pretty sure we already have this. FBA price, $14.99. Number of competitive sellers, one, or gonna be two. Oh, total sales per month, 39. Well, oh, that can't be right. No, one, 1170, right? 1170. So let's say you can make 30% uh, return on investment from this one item. Let's see how much we're looking at. Uh, where are we at right now? 3,000, let's say $7. ROI is 2637, so 650, 35, 675. Okay, so if you can source this 
item for 675 you're looking at a ROI of 30% which is profit per unit 216 so 216 times however many units you can expect to sell in a month it's 585 so you're looking at 1200 net profit if you can get this product for 675 Okay, backing out, we're looking for wholesale leads based on keywords. Right now we're looking at Trapstick. As we're browsing through here, I'm looking for items that are not sold by Amazon and have multiple FBA sellers. If there's only one, it's most likely a uh, private label product. Yeah, they got some really good ranks in here. Look at this one. Trapper Max. This one's got a lot of FBA sellers. Let's look at this one. Let's search by uh, FBA instead, or I mean by brand name instead. Seventy two traps. This this is sold by Amazon though. So one twenty seven, that's a really good rank right there. Eh, twenty nine is a little too high. Here's a good one. Yeah, four thousand. Yeah, that's really good. Okay, all we need is one, right? Let's look at this one. Yeah, this would be really crazy as far as uh, sales velocity. Let's uh, look at the history, see if Amazon's been selling it. And no, Amazon has not been selling this for the past three months. BSR. Okay, we're gonna add this to the list. Stop it. So I can't paste this because it turns out blue. Or it's not even showing up at all. Hey. What am I doing wrong here? Copy this. So it's already in the cell. It's probably. Oh, because it's white and the background's white. Ah, stop it. Let's just copy it from here. There you go. Hey. I am a moron. What's going on right now? Copy that. Paste it here. Okay, we can see it. There you go. Man, rocket science. All right, uh, Francisco, what's going on? Hi, mate. What is the minimum price to look for in a product? I'm finding out. I'm starting to find out that anything. I usually stop at fifteen dollars, but I'm finding out that even at ten you can still be profitable so yeah i've been overlooking it this whole time but according to this um, calculator here you can actually still profit even if a uh, fba price is at at ten dollars so yeah i guess i'm looking for products that are see even here at 8 30 this was still profitable if you can get it for a certain price. So let's open this this up real quick. So 
So this is just an example of still being profitable potentially if your FBA price is 831. Open up this calculator. If we can get it for 250 or dollar 25 each, then you can still have an ROI of 29% and profit 79 cents each. So 79 cents times 399. You can still profit 315 from this one listing per month. Yeah, but the problem is now you're looking at you're still prepping 400 units per month. But now your now your profit is 79 cents per item. So it's up to you whether you think the $300 is worth it to you or not. But it looks like it's still profitable. Hopefully that answered your question. All right, let's go back. Trapper Max. Twenty-nine total sales per month. Oh, this is gonna be really good. Rank one twenty-seven. Ten thousand eight hundred twenty-one. Ten eight two one. Ten eight two one with thirteen competitive sellers. Let's crunch this number actually. Okay, Frank. Frank asks, thank you. Is that calculator works in UK market as well? I'm not sure. Um, but if you need the Chrome extension, it's a uh, run AMZ Scout calculator. So download this app and run it and see if um, it's compatible for for that market. Yeah, sorry. I, I don't know the answer off, off the top of my head. Okay. So let's see what the potential profit is on this. 25 cents. Ah, this is a small item. Let's say 10 cents shipping per unit. Ah. Let's say 5 cents. 0.5. Oh, that's not 5 anymore. That's 50 cents. Product costs. Oh, look at that. We're still, we're already, we're already in the red actually. So this isn't even profitable. Wait a second. No, 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 no. That's wrong. It says total FBA fee is $59. How is it $59? That's wrong. I don't know if you guys can see this. But yeah, this... Fulfillment fee. See, something's wrong with this. This fulfillment fee is at fifty-four twenty-seven. That's wrong. Okay. Anyways, we know this is a fast-moving product. We can still contact the manufacturer and find some other way to figure out if it's profitable or not. That's a weird one. Back to the list we're backing out looking at looking for wholesale leads using this keyword right here trapper no this is a brand name let's back out of here we're done with trapper max uh, this is the keyword trap stick okay this is the one we just added let's move on we're skipping anything that says just one FBA seller because that's most likely a uh, private label product. Here's one. Kingman Prime. Okay. 
Let's do a search by by a uh, brand name. That's a good movie, by the way. Kingsman. Did I write Kingsman? I wrote Kingman. Oh, interesting. Is this their only product? I guess so. Okay, anyways, we'll add this to the list. It's not sold by Amazon. Any history of Amazon selling this? No? For the past three months, Amazon has not sold that. Let's go look back a year. What was that? No, Amazon does not sell this. Okay, why we'll this to the list? Kingman Prime fifteen ninety six. That's a good price too. Fifteen ninety six. Total sales per month twenty four forty nine. One competitive seller, so two. I'm just curious. I'm going to see if um, Kingman Prime is a seller. See, this is FBM by this company. JCS Link sells this right now. We've got four ninety in stock. Okay, just one FBA seller, one competitive FBA seller. So 1596. Let's crunch a number on this, see if it's profitable. Okay, product cost. It's 1596. That's a year getting it for seven dollars, right? Okay, so you can't get it for seven dollars. It's gotta be six dollars so we're looking for an ROI of 30 percent so five dollars 35 550 here let me uh I'm gonna hide my camera so you guys can see what I'm seeing here on the bottom right hand corner here in the bottom ROI I'm kind of playing with the numbers to see <clears throat> what the minimum I'm willing to ROI that I'm willing to get. So minimum for me is about 30%. So I'm just playing with this product cost to get as close to 30%. There you go. So 520, assuming the shipping is a quarter, we can profit $1.65 per unit. Okay, if we what was it? 165. 165 times this many units per month. So 1, 2, 2, 4. That's over $2,000 uh, net profit per month. If we can get this unit for 520, right? And depending on how many units you purchase, they'll either give you more or less discounts, right? All right, so that's on the list. Let's see what else we can find. Yeah, feel free if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask them. Where are we at right now? We are we just crossed one hour of stream time, so I might stream for a little longer. Um, and after that, maybe I'll hop on again today. Okay, we're scrolling down looking for fast moving products that's not sold by Amazon so here's a really fast one multiple sellers Amazon doesn't sell so let's open that up oh 
Saul asks, are you tax exempt with your distributors? Yes, I am tax exempt. Yeah, you need to request to be tax exempt. Otherwise, well, in their in their eyes, you're <clears throat> you're selling it in the same state you're purchasing it from. So there's no point in well, what is it? So when you purchase it, otherwise you'll be you'll be spending two times on on taxes, right? Which isn't fair for you. So you can purchase uh, tax exempt, and then technically you're supposed to be selling it in your same state or whatever state, and then paying taxes then as well. But yeah, definitely request to be tax exempt. If they charge you taxes, I mean, it'll be very minimal. I do I do pay a half percent for, I don't know what they call it, wholesale tax, I guess. I don't know. A lot of other places don't even charge that. But at the same time, I can actually, these same companies that charge me half percent for wholesale tax, they're the ones that let, let me purchase inventory using my credit card with no uh, credit card fees. So that, that's pretty good. I'll take it. All right. So here's another item here. Ken, Ken, sister, Ken, sister, Ken, sister. Saul says, but Amazon automa automatically collects those taxes and pays back those states, right? Yeah, I think that's a new thing that they're doing. Uh, for a while there, they were saying that third party sellers are supposed to be um, in charge of their own, you know, collecting taxes and, and, and paying. But there was no way for us to do that during a uh, tax season. So now I think Amazon does it automatically. Yes. But. Again, tax wise, yeah, don't. I'm not an expert. Um, that's why I hire my own CPA and uh, financial advisor and stuff like that. So I would, I would get legal uh, advice from an actual CPA that does uh, online online sales. Okay, so we're looking, we're searching by brand name. So we're using this Ken Scissor. Okay, so this is the listing we're looking at. Was it? Yeah, that's the one. We're looking for other products that they could be selling. That's fast moving as well. You know what? This is good. Let's uh, let's work with this. Hey, FBA Canada, welcome. How's it going over there? Okay, so this product here, we're just, we're just gonna add it to the list. Let's uh, oh wait a second. There's there, they sell their own product. So this is an FBA. This is a private label product. We can't move forward with this. Never mind. Yellow sticky traps. Yeah. <clears throat> There's no point in contacting them because they sell their own product on Amazon and they're not going to let you. You could probably say whatever you need to say to open the account and purchase from them. You can purchase however many. Uh, what is this? 12,740. You can purchase half of that and then try to sell on on Amazon, then they're going to stop you. So you'd be stuck with half of that inventory or you'll be stuck with that inventory that you can't do anything with. You'd have to sell it on eBay or something. <clears throat> when you contact them, oh, how are you? We're good. We're good. I've been kind of working a lot at the hospital, which I, I'm a full-time job, so it's been really tough. 
Sal says, when you contact them, do you tell them you're not selling them on Amazon? No, I try to be upfront. I tell them I am selling it, selling it on Amazon. Yeah, you want to be upfront with them as much as possible. Then you can tell them um, the value that you can provide being an Amazon seller, um, like enforcing map pricing, um, running pay-per-click advertising and not charging them, right? Or eventually you can say, hey, I've been selling, I've been selling the product as we agreed on, on Amazon, but I'm spending more on pay-per-click advertising. Can you give me additional discounts? You need to say stuff like that. Okay, <clears throat> so going back to this, we're not gonna add this to the list because it's a private label product. And we're still looking for wholesale leads by keyword and the key keyword we're using right now is trap stick. So let's scroll back down. We already have catch master. A lot of items for <clears throat> like whatever category this is like insect traps or some kind of traps yeah i think we already have rescue on our list so we're not going to add that Saul asks thoughts on drop shipping on amazon for 10 to 15 percent margin wow 10 to 15% margin. That's really good. When I was doing drop shipping, um, I'd be contempt with breaking even or maybe even getting like less than 5%. But because we use credit cards, most of our, um, like we'd accumulate points and be able to find the, the best way to use those points, whether it's through travel, cash back, or stuff like that. But yeah, 10 to 15% margin. Dude, that's really good. Um, where do you get that? Well, you don't have to answer here on stream, but do me a favor. If you can uh, DM me, let me know um, what program that is. Maybe I'll take a closer look at it one time. How long did you do drop shipping? I did it for, mm, I'd say two to three months. Not really, I guess not really as long enough to get a real, a great grasp on it. I used um, Dropship Life, uh, what is it called? DS Domination, yeah. I don't know if you've heard of that group, this right here. DS, actually this is a Chrome extension, but it was DS Domination. And basically their model was using <clears throat> other sites other than eBay as um, as the um, the source, right? And then and then purchasing it from these different sites. They they have they have software that kind of integrate everything, and then it sells on eBay. But the problem was a bunch of different people. A, a lot of people were using the same model and the same software so then everybody was competing for pennies right so it was a lot of work for a very minimal um process um profits and the barrier of entry was was really low so that's why i wanted to look into something with a little higher barrier of entry which is a little more difficult to kind of get into that has different categories like Amazon for instance has beauty category where you have to kind of know what you're doing and have history to be able to sell in that category and then specific brand names right so it's got more barriers of entry so less competition at those levels so I was looking at something more like that FBA Canada says try Victor mousetrap okay we'll try that I'm going to type it in here so I don't forget. Then I'm going to answer the next question. Victor 
Mouse trap. K May says hello. Is there an email template that you use when you contact the distributor? Yes, I do actually have a template, but it's actually a template that that's not mine that I actually purchased, and I can't share that. Sorry. But yeah, that template, you need a good template. You can't just say, hey, can I open a wholesale account with you? I promise I'm going to do good sales or something. Yeah, it needs to be very specific as to the value that you can provide the brand owner or distributor that you want to work with. Victor Mousetrap. <clears throat> okay, so we're looking at this. So I guess it's a brand name, right? Victor Mousetrap. We're looking for leads. We just need one. We just need one listing, right? So this is a really good one. Well, let's look some more. Price is good, 1485. BSR is extremely good. Multiple sellers, that's a good sign. Oh, these are all sold by Amazon. I wonder if Amazon just sold out of this multi-pack. So this is a pack of 12. Let's go back a year. Yeah, I don't see Amazon selling this. It's got a extremely good BSR. And it's good almost all year round. Slows down during April. Then it comes back down during August, right? Wow. Okay. So let's crunch some numbers then. Actually, I'm going to add this to my list. I don't think I have this. Victor. Pack of 12. FBA price is fourteen eighty five. See, we don't know if we're profitable or not. All we know is this is a fast moving product with multiple seven FBA sellers, right? Sales velocity is fifty three eighty five. Competitive sellers, we have seven or eight, so you can expect to sell six seventy three. And let's try and crunch some numbers here. I'm going to hide my, actually, can you guys see this? Let me get this bigger for you and hide my camera. Oh, wrong camera. Okay. So if you can see here on the bottom, bottom right hand corner, this is what I'm looking at. So I'm just plugging in numbers and I'm looking at the ROI, making sure that <clears throat> at the minimum we can get 30%. So what is it? Fourteen eighty-five is the FBA price. Seven dollars. Okay, that ROI is thirty-seven, so we're almost there. Seven fifty. Seven forty-five. Yeah, so around there. So if you can get this pack of twelve for seven forty-five, that's thirty percent ROI. You're looking at a net profit of two twenty-eight. 28 times however many units you can expect to sell per month, which is 673. So this one product, this one product, you can actually profit, net profit, $15.34 per month from this one product. So yeah, good find. Okay. May. Yeah, thank you for the uh, for su suggesting that lead FBA uh, Canada. How did you drop ship? I think I order. Email template. Alby asks, can you tell us where you purchased it? Uh, I did purchase several courses, um, but the course I purchased that had this template was from uh, Wholesale Formula. The wholesale formula they have a facebook group too that you can join really good 
Okay, I also purchased um, Watch Me Amazon's course, and I've done some mentoring from uh, Eric with Amazon Lit. Okay, Saul says search Advion cockroach. Let's look at that. Cockroach. Is that the right spelling? I don't even know. Yeah, it is. Do you have it on your course? Yeah, I do have it on my course, but I don't like to plug my course. But yeah, check out. I'll have a link in the description of this video when I do upload it. So you can click the link and take a look at my course there. But yes, I do have a template that's modified. Yes. So Albie's asking if I provide the template in my course. I do provide it. And I don't offer just the template by itself. Um, it is in the course, though. All right, Advion, Advion. Wow, 41. Rank 41, but it's sold by Amazon. Let's take a look at this, see if Amazon ever sells out see if there's a window for us to sell this but the fact that amazon already sells it i don't like it so we're looking at a one year see amazon sells it looks like all year round for this one listing anyways see if we can find Another listing that Amazon doesn't sell. Okay, here's one. Here's another one. We'll start with this uh, 3000 one. Okay, this is the 3000 rank. <clears throat> okay, let's look at the history. Oh, wow. That's weird. There's a gap here. Maybe during this gap, they weren't tracking the BSR. Something to do, probably to do with the, during COVID and stuff. See, this is March. Yeah, all the BSRs got all jacked up during that time. And the buy box, the buy boxes, the buy box algorithm just got scrambled. So I think this got affected too, which I think explains the gap here. Okay, looking at the history, Amazon does not sell this item. It's all FBA uh, sellers. Yeah, this is a really good one. Okay, so let's add this to the list. This is Ad Advion. Ad Advion. Price is twenty nine ninety eight. Sales velocity is six ninety eight. That doesn't sound right. Well, it could be right. Three thousand rank three thousand six ninety eight. Competitive sellers. We have three, so we're four. So let's crunch some numbers. Okay, I'm looking at the bottom right hand corner. Looking at the bottom right hand corner of the uh, this calculator here. So we're trying to keep this ROI at 30%, which is the minimum that we're willing to do, right? So FBA price is 29. Let's see if we can get it for $15. ROI is 43.89. We can a little higher right 1550 let's go 69 let's go 1650 1655 1660 okay so if you can source this product if you can source this product for 1660 your ROI is 30 percent 
your profit per unit is five, right? So open up the calculator, five dollars times however many units you can sell per month, 174. So you're looking at 870 in net profit per month if you can source this four pack, right? For 1660. So and it's up to you if well this is kind of the criteria 30 percent it's up to you whether you have better products out there with better rois that you can invest your capital into but if you have extra capital and you already purchase as much as you could on other listings with higher higher rois then you can um, start thinking about this but this is a good one All right, thank you for the suggestion, uh, Saul. Okay, Alvi asks a question about email template that was offered in the wholesale formula course. I'm guessing a lot of people are using it. What home brands be ticked off if they're getting multiple emails of the same kind? Yeah, you would think so. That's a good point. That's a really good point. Um, like I said, the email that I send out, it's not exactly like it. It's more, it's shorter and more straight to the point. But yeah, you're right. If they're just copying and pasting and just being lazy about it, then yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. And yeah, there's a lot of people that purchase the wholesale form of this course. You're right. Where are we at? Hour 24 minutes. Okay. We're still going. Thanks all for the recommendation. Or for, for the uh, suggestion, Advion. Let's see if they have even more. So yeah, they have that 3100 3, BSR. They have this one, that's 6,000. I wish you could categorize this or filter it by, by BSR, right? So the fastest moving product is the one that goes on top. But if you think about it, it's... I guess it's already set up naturally, right? Or organically to do that anyways. Based on Amazon's own algorithm, right? They want to display to you the most likely uh, search results. So it should be the fastest anyways. Add Vion. Yeah, they have. Yeah, this one's crazy. 42. <clears throat> I'm just curious what the uh, sales velocity for something that's ranked 42 is. Let's take a look at this. What are you doing? 19,000. Jeez. Wow, 19,000 units, that's really good. Look at that. <clears throat> so the guy that has the buy box right now is an FBM seller. Interesting. an FBM seller here's another FBM seller here's a FBA seller they're priced at 34 this one's priced at 33 and they're winning the buy box Wow <clears throat> the sellers ratings 26,000 what's this FBA 30,000 so they actually have a better rating seller rating than this guy higher too and they're still winning the buy box just because they're less than a dollar or they're a little yeah they're a dollar less bummer so yeah if you can get this product for whatever 15 and be able to fbm this thing man you can make a lot of money on this 
I don't know how they're doing it. I don't do FBM. I just do strictly FBA. Okay, Saul says, so say the extension shows it sells 700 divided by three sellers. So you order only 150 and it actually sells more than that. What'd you order? Would you order more for the next month? Whoa, what happened to my... That was funny. <laughs> there was a bug in my my broadcasting. Okay, so Saul says if you order what it what the recommendation is and then you end up selling more, would you order more for the next month? Yes, definitely. So it's just a guideline, yeah. Whatever Jungle Scout says and whatever this spreadsheet says. Plus it depends too during the time of the year that you're selling this product. Right? Maybe it's during a faster time of the year than than others but yeah they're just guidelines so really the best data that you can have is your own data right so look at your own history and based on your sales velocity you can have better numbers based on that so yeah definitely order more <clears throat> Saul says you should do a video using helium 10 instead of your regular extension Helium 10. Oh, instead of Jungle Scout? Yeah, I'm seeing more talk about Helium 10. But I'm actually... You know what? You're right, Saul. Maybe I should look into it. Because I have my own data. And I've only compared it with Jungle Scout. So if I can take the two and see which one's closer. Maybe I can give my own opinion. Or like a how-to. Yeah, you're right. Thanks for the suggestion, Saul. Maybe I'll look into that soon. All right, where are we at? Hour 29. You know what? I think I'm just going to end it for now. Uh, thank you. Who, who's in here? Albie, Saul. FBA Canada May. Thanks guys for hanging out, asking your questions. I appreciate it. Francesco, Frank P, and whoever's watching on uh, on Twitch. I appreciate you guys uh, coming in here and um, offering suggestions and stuff. Um, yeah, do me a favor, like the video if you're still in here. Subscribe if you already haven't. And I try to do these on the weekends as much as I can, but I missed yesterday. But Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Take care, guys. Bye. Okay. That's a button. <laughs>